Hoi piepeloi, I am here, I am here. Coffee, chocolate, chocolate coffee. Mm -hmm. Hot chocolate with coffee. Very good. Mm. So, um, yeah. <laughs> God. I never like beginning videos. I never do, because I'm always here. And I, 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 you know, I'm never screwing, so I'm just here. And um, it's like, how do you start? Where do you start? It's been a bit, it's been a, a tumultuous time, hasn't it, people? Hmm. Very much so. It's been very tough going for a lot of people. And I've noticed there's a lot of people dying everywhere. Um, which... I think it's, it's about right for this time of year anyway, but it, there's more people dying now than um, than usual. A lot of people are checking out. Uh, <clears throat> I can't blame them. <laughs> yeah. Um, but... Okay, so I can really only talk for what, what I've been experiencing more than anything. Um, that I've also seen other people go through. Other people talk to me. I've got a f friends just scattered throughout the world and they talk to me about what's happening in their lives. Mm. I think we are getting ever closer to our objective. My objective, of course, is reset, which I felt very strongly for a number of years now. Um, not, not as in fixing the world brick by brick, nothing, nothing like that, but literally like whew, reset, something amazing. And it may not happen all at once. Um, and I don't really even think I want to speak about that so much because at the end of the day, if it's something that lies beyond the mind, then it cannot be vocalized, it cannot be verbalized. So it's pointless really even talking about it. But one, one, one thing that's been coming up a great deal is grief. Now, yesterday, um, I had to go into town. I had to go to the bank. Um, I had to go to the bank because I... Oh, I hate going to the bank. Um, which meant having to go into town. And... You know when your awakening is getting really real, as in R-E-A-L, real. You know when you look around you and everything fucking hurts, you know. Because you see it. Your eyes, you, the shells have fallen off from your eyes. You, you really, you see it. You see it all. You see it. You know what evil has done to this world. Um, those asphalt roads everywhere. The rubbish. There's just rubbish everywhere. And you, you feel the suffering of nature. I could feel, literally, I could feel the pain of the trees of the soil, I could feel the pain of mother nature viscerally in my gut and I was there and I could I could feel salt people and I could feel their pain I, I could just oh but I could also feel all this emptiness all these empty husks everywhere I, I just and I knew in that, in that instant, beyond the shadow of a doubt, that the reason we are here, or I am here, but some of you are here for that same reason, is to bring about the great healing, which is reset. You know? You alright there, Looms? Do you want to come and say hello? <laughs> oh, my darling. Yeah. You're so beautiful. You want me? You are. Yeah. See? <laughs> this is my little looms. <laughs> it's my very gentle little kitten cat. Aren't you, darling? You are. You're so beautiful. 
it was like um I mean having spent years of my life really <clears throat> through the awakening process which is just again just words isn't it amazing how, how the more you awaken the more you realize that language sucks cocks in hell it's just bullshit language sucks it's shit it's fucking shit and it's magic anyway it's it's a dark magic it's like a type of um sigil magic as in understand hmm. coronavirus yeah corona being a crown so what does that mean then you know by order of her majesty <laughs> thanks a lot Maybe Prince Philip has finally managed to turn himself, to metamorphose himself into an evil virus, killing us all. Be nice if it just killed all the, uh, you know, the empty ones. And just, well, I don't know, anyway, I shouldn't really say that. It's a bit like, whoa. Well, anyway. <laughs> That's the thing. The ego, the fake persona. I, I think I'm having trouble, sorry darling, I think I'm having trouble starting this video because actually there is so much fucking going on that it's like, oh, where do I go, where do I start, where do I go, where do I start? <coughs> like I said, that little trip yesterday to the bank was absolutely harrowing. I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that this world is precious beyond any language, beyond anything we can possibly even begin to imagine this world, Mother Earth, and, and, and us. Every single salt being here is precious beyond language, beyond anything we can imagine. Our true value, our true power, our true majesty, and these are just clunky words. It's, it lies so beyond that, but our true magic is something so incredible and, and, and yet we have been here and we have believed ourselves to be these grey wizened creatures, these powerless worthless little things owned by evil and it's just not true people it is as simple as knowing that and realizing that evil is not powerful. It's made us believe that evil is powerful. It's done that really cleverly and that is all it ever had. And we've believed it. We have. So I'm there on that bus looking at the people, feeling them for the most part feel absolutely nothing but here and there you feel something and just looking houses upon houses streets upon streets in the grid formations prison you know Auschwitz was set, it was set out in exactly the same way so was Dachau so was Bergen-Belsen so was that German excavation place that these, these archaeologists find. It was all set out in a grid formation. <laughs> there was a great deal of human sacrifice going on there. <sighs> you know, we've, 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 we've lived this, we've, we've allowed this, not, not realizing that we, we can change this completely. And, and that is what reset is people because we are not this and and that is becoming stronger within me the grief i felt yesterday at, at beholding all around me what evil has done to us and to this world it's unbelievable it really hurt it hurt so much here and here but at the same time, I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that to pour my love into this world, to pour my love into myself, to pour my love into this world, into Mother Earth, into nature and into all, to all my, my, my fellow soul travelers. There are soul traveler animals, there are soul traveler plants. 
Mother Earth herself is a soul traveler. We are soul travelers. And, and just to pour that love forth, shine it forth every day now. See, now that is new for me. I've been aware of that and I've spoken about the power of love. But you see, the more you awaken, awakening is a double prompt thing because on the, the deeper you awaken, the higher you, you rise, your consciousness rises. But the interesting thing about it is that the deeper you awaken, the more you will feel yes you will you will feel and it will fucking hurt like fucking hell it will the reason for that people is because obviously we've been in a in a comatose state we have been in a state of disassociation you look at the people around you in the world it's all disassociation all of it but people like us and the soul travelers are are on different levels of awakening so we're not all on the same level yet but that's okay but when you're as deeply awake as where I'm at now, and I'm not saying that arrogantly, by the way, I've worked very hard for this and I was a complete idiot five years ago, six years ago, didn't have a clue. I'm just saying that, look, people, wherever you find yourself, you too will get to this level. It's inevitable. Um, it, it's a double pronged thing because you feel the grief, the sorrow. You truly see what evil has done to this world. You truly see what, what it's done to you. You truly see what you yourself have done. Not realizing, not re understanding what you were doing. That you were putting, putting hurt into the world. And you didn't realize you were doing it. You were just protecting yourself, you see. You were so full of rage, which is a lesson, full of self-hate, which you didn't even know was self-hate, and there was all kinds of shit going on, and you, you didn't know any better. So you were putting a shitload of hurt back out into the world because you were in war consciousness, in conflict conf consciousness. And you get through that. You'll get through that. You'll come out. You'll realize, oh my fuck, yes, of course, what this world needs is love. The power, the magic of love. And it is a feeling, it is an energy, a frequency. A lot of people are frightened of it because they think it's going to make them doormats. But that isn't love. Love empowers you, you see. Love opens your eyes. That is why you feel this gut-wrenching, harrowing grief for this world and for all the suffering therein. For all the grotesque suffering of our fellow soul travelers, Mother Earth, all the animals, nature, all souled beings here. But as you feel that, that is the one side of the awakening, you have to feel it because how can you heal something you do not know is there? So you have to feel it all. You have to feel all that grief, all that rage, all that, all of it, all of it, all of it goes through all these layers, all these layers, all these layers. It's all right, yeah. You're, doing, you're all doing a really good job. I know it because I can feel it. You're, you're working so hard. And wherever you find yourself, you are doing really well. And you're exactly where you're meant to be. And you're doing what you're meant to be doing. I can feel that. Even those of you who are in, a, in this warrior, this like, I'm an earth, you know. Because that is also very much a part of it. You will get to a point where you, you'll get through that, but, but it somehow does play a part. I know that. I went through that as well. We've been so hurt, you know. We, we, we have this innate, strong, 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 strong mechanism that says you need to protect yourself, you need to protect yourself. Love is going to... Love is going to make you a doormat. It's going to, you know, you're not going to be able to discern what's what. Well, no. Love, the power of love actually shows you exactly what is what. And it protects you. It is the biggest, most powerful shield all around you. And it always guides you. It protects you. It guides you. It shows you what is what. And when you're dealing with evil, you will see it. You will know it. You will protect yourself. But love teaches us not 
to fight back, not to give our precious energy and consciousness away to anything at all. It doesn't mean we have to be out there rescuing people and giving, giving, giving of ourselves, neglecting our own needs, none of that. We're not the Messiah. Do you want to go back in the window? Yeah? Come on, son. Oh, there we go, there we go, my love, yeah. Ah. It's this, this rise of the power of love, and, and it is, this is new for me. I felt it before, but not, not in this way. It's like several layers back, I felt it. Um, I felt it as well albeit briefly, because I was going through a lot. Um, and then it seemed to slip through my fingers again. I was very upset about it, because you, you try to hold on to those notions, to those feelings, you know, because you, you just want to feel good. You don't want to feel like shit, of course. So you try and hold on to it, but it slips through your fingers. Well, this time it's bigger and more here. And I, I have more clarity. And it, it truly is just... Love, it's safe to love. It is safe to shine forth your light into this blighted, blighted place. It's safe to focus on that which nourishes the soul and to let go of that which crushes the soul. Because my fucking God, in so many ways are we engaged in in thinking, feeling, behaving, uh, engaging with, st with stuff that literally is soul-crushing, soul-destroying. And more and more, and when I talk about surrendering, when I talk about letting go, I'm talking about literally disentanglement from that, and that is happening. That is happening. This it's a simple intention that you can set for yourself. You may not know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Because it's beyond the mind. It isn't the case of, well, if you put this here and go over there, this is how you do it. There is no manual. It's something that just happens if you are willing to let it go. So I have this, we all have this fake persona. Some people call it the ego, I call it the fake persona in there. Everything the fake persona thinks is important and warrants attention and warrants entanglement. The drama, the rage, the vengeance, all of that, all, and there's so much more, there's so much more, there's this, this, this whole construct within us of, of, of a person that is not us. A person that, that, that lives in, in a hell realm. A person that will only ever see that which is dark and negative and shit. But when the good shit happens, it's like, oh yeah, that, oh, that doesn't really mean anything because we're all doomed anyway. All of this. But that person has been getting thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. It's almost as if there was a really obese person in us that was full of that darkness. And it's been losing all this weight because it's all coming over to the true self. So our true self is growing bigger within us. And the shadow is healing more and more and more. Um, and the more that happens, the more we realize that we're here to love. That's it. <sighs> to love ourselves and to really come home to ourselves and spend time just being with ourselves. That is the first, you know, the, what was it Oscar Wilde said? To love oneself is the beginning of a lifelong romance. I love Oscar Wilde, a fantastic guy. And I love that, 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 that quote, that quote, that saying, whatever, that sentence. 
um, first and foremost it has to be we have to learn really learn to love ourselves we, we, we don't even know what that is how that is how to do that and yet we're learning it's incredible this just shows me that evil is nothing. Evil just evil is an illusion. Evil is a lie and an illusion because despite this illusion, despite it, oh, but evil always wins and look at the world and everything is fucked and look what they're doing here, look what they're doing there. And then, yeah, there's some absolutely unspeakable, horrific shit happening. Go on Facebook, it's all there. <coughs> uh, or YouTube or whatever, right? However, despite that, we are learning, seemingly out of nowhere, because we have never known it, to love ourselves. We are learning to shine forth our love into the world. The more we love ourselves, the more we will love this world, our fellow soul travelers. And that love will heal. It will heal us all. And that's what it really is about. A lot of people, and again, this is an, just another part of your journey where you're at that point where you just feel so enmeshed in the grief and the suffering and the self-hate and the rage and the vengeance and all these other emotions that don't even have a, a name. You're so enmeshed in that, like you're trapped in a box of your own pain, your own delusions, your own darkness, you're trapped in a box like in a room with no windows and no doors and you're in there and it's like somebody needs to come and save me now. When, oh when is that going to happen? And then you realize that some, you go through these things you, you, and despite all of that, despite being trapped in that room, you, you, you heal. You heal, you continue to heal. You, you, you know, catalytically, these punches that life seemingly throws at you and you think you're on the psychic attack and they're always doing it to you. And in a sense, that's true. And yet it's utilized to heal. Because it triggers parts of you that need to be triggered, that need to be acknowledged and looked at and, 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 and alchemized and healed and loved back into wholeness. That's why this shit happens. That's why these things happen. That's why these people pissed you off. That's why these people were so cruel to you. It's incredible, really. Um, Somebody sent me a message on Facebook the other day and it triggered me in a massive way. And then a few days later I realized, whoa, I get it, yeah. Because there was something happening within me. And it all made sense logistically. It's all about logistics. And it's very clever. I've noticed this over the years. I've been paying attention. It's incredible. So actually it was a healing thing. And it was very good. <laughs> um... So yeah, it's not about waiting for something to come and heal us. We are going to be healing ourselves and we are going to be healing this world. Not in the mundane sense. Forget about the mundane, right? Forget that. The mundane is an abomination. We know that, right? This bricks and mortar, this dust, this, this plastic, rubbish, horrific, evil place infested with demonic filth, that is mundane reality. And, and I've, I've, I've said this before and it's very difficult to put this into words, but reality is not real. Our perception has been hijacked so that we think, well, this is all there is and that's what it likes to do, the dark generator, right? This is all there is, this is all there is, this is all there is. It's not. At all. It's just an overlay. It's an overlay, people. Plato's gave. Something is happening. I can feel it and it, it's coming up and 
it is about love, the power of love. And love is just a fucking word. And that's the problem because we've lived in the dark world, the hijacked world where the word love conjures up um, concepts. Oh, this is what love means. That is what love means. That is what love means. And it isn't any of those things at all. It's something that we've never known. Well, it's something that we don't remember knowing, you see? So when I talk about love, I'm talking about something so fast and so majestic and so magical and so incredible as to defy. Well, it's, it's beyond, beyond, beyond. My imagination has been stirring again, beautifully, beautifully. All this imposed limitation, <laughs> this, this stunted, obstructionist place where everything is constantly so difficult, so arduous, so hard, so exhausting. anti-creativity, it's anti-imagination, it is anti-love and it is all a fucking lie. Oh god, fuck. We are so powerful and potent. We are something very special. And we are really, truly beginning to stir our true essence, our true being is really beginning to stir and awaken from a very deep sleep, a very long sleep. Being asleep, I had this really bad nightmare. Whoa. <sighs> Love is not something that we've known but we're beginning to get to know it bit by bit and that is what awakening is. And so for all the grief and all the sorrow and all the other emotions that we're feeling, we're also beginning to feel that sense of wonder. You know, that sense of, oh, I get it now, I'm beginning to understand. I might not be able to really understand it with the sluggish mind. But my true self, my intuitive mind, gets this very, very well indeed. So I'm just going to go with that. I have enough faith now, I trust enough now to, to go there, to do that. Yeah, finally. Let the chips fall where they may. I'm just, I'm going to do that. Because it is real and it's all been a fucking lie. <laughs> You're still scared, yeah, of course. There's still fear, there's still doubt, there's still this, there's still that. Of course. But it's happening anyway, people. Oh. The power of love, you see. The magic of love, that's what it was always about. We are not sitting around waiting for somebody or something to come and save us, to sit there and can complain and whine about how shit it has been. And don't get me wrong, I have great compassion, I understand. We have been so violated, it's unbelievable, I understand. But now is the time where we can make the choice to realise, to allow ourselves to realise that's all been a lie. An illusion, a lie that evil has told us, you see. The dark generator. I mean, it, 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 the, the more you awaken, the more you see, the more you know, yes, it will put up a bit of a fight. I've noticed this as well. It will do that. Um, because it knows damn well that you're escaping its clutches and of course it doesn't like that so it's gonna kick up a bit of a fuss yeah um, so you you know you feel schizophrenic because just in the course of one fucking day 
you'll go from no to ah, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like I'm fucking going nuts. Your internal processes go completely haywire and don't make any sense and you don't know where you're at or where you're going. Interspersed with these momentary pauses of clarity, of gnosis, of slicing through and showing you the way. So you go with it. You keep going with it. People, it will be all right. I can feel it. It's happening. It's wonderful. It's amazing. Yeah. Hmm. It always was about love. So now's the time that we're going to really be finding out what love truly is. What is it? It's the words. It ain't Barry White. It's not James Brown. It's not two people getting married and then getting divorced six weeks later. That's not it. There are many different forms of love, but I'm talking about the most exalted. I'm talking about something that is the essence of everything that we are. Something that said, let's, let's forget that this is what we are and have an experience that is the complete opposite and then work through that, have this adventure, this quest and work through that back into the truth of what we are. Because that, for some reason, will give us something very precious. You see, when you have it, something that's really, really beautiful, that you really, really cherish, and then you lose that, that, that object, you lose it, and then you get it back. Imagine, it's a bit like that. It's actually it's really not a very good analogy, mm. but yeah, similar. Our imagination as well is, is, is slowly but surely reawakening and we're beginning to understand concepts of infinite possibility. So mundane reality, which is a gross violation and an abomination, is... And this is why this world's falling apart, people, you see, because it, it, it just can't... It, it never functions anyway, but it was pretty. It, it was doing a pretty good job of pretending that it was functioning very well, and it can't do that anymore. Now everybody's going, oh, it's fucking fucked. It fucked. It fucked. Yeah, it's fucked because it always was. Hmm. I mean, I can see myself. I can see pink violet skies and I can see myself walking up, just walking up into the sky. I can do anything, be anything, I am, we are everything. We really are. <laughs> we are. Oh, I, do you know what? I wish that I could put the images I have in my head, in your heads, just, just for 10 seconds or something. But hey, that doesn't matter, because you'll have your own imaginations and whatnot. So, um, I just bought myself a little deck, actually. It's called, here, Oracle of the Hidden Worlds. And it's, it's really cool. These are beautiful cards. They truly are amazing little cards. I really like them. They have a good feel to them. And, uh... Yeah. I do love my oracle cards. I mean, I have to be very discerning. I always have to read between the lines. But um, they've served me very, very well, in fact. See, everything in this world, even in dark, 
shitty mundane reality. Everything is utilized. This is the power of love. This is one of its powers that I find utterly incredible. And if you all stop and think about it a minute, you realize that this is true. So we've been in here, in this dark Maya nightmare, right? We've been here and it's really fucked us up and brutalized us and violated us and manipulated us and gaslit us all the way and ooh and ah and ah and ooh, right? And yet we are awakening, 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 awakening. All right? Coming back to the essence of what we truly are and beginning to really, it's time to really get that. Wow, we are really fucking powerful, amazing, magical beings here. <laughs> and if evil is all that powerful, none of that would be happening. You know, look, my vacuum cleaner broke the other day. And um, it was like, this is not good. This is not good. So then immediately an image came into my head where I went to the shop, said, oh, this has happened with my Hoover. And I said, oh, that's okay. We'll just replace that free of charge and la, la, la. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, yes, we are creator beings. Yes, we are. So... Focus on loving yourself. Focus on that. With, with, with all your energy, with all everything that you are, focus on loving yourself. That is very important. Because before anything else can be or happen, you yourself need to be healed and made whole again. So to love yourself, love yourself, give to yourself, nurture yourself and look at everything in your life, in your head, in your psyche, in your body, in your actions, in, in, in whatever, which, whichever way it exists in your field or in your psyche. Everything that is spirit crushing, then disentangle from that. You can't do that all at once, but start that process. Disentangle from that. And love yourself, love yourself. Just be. Learn to be in the stillness. You know, we don't need to have the television going. We don't need to have social media going. We don't need... We can just be in the stillness and to just be with ourselves to say hey I am here for you 100% I've got your back 100% you are the most precious the most valuable the most incredible being I love you infinitely forever always and 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 give this give yourself this 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 appreciation and this gratitude because you are Hello! You might never have existed. I mean, I don't know. But here you are. You are. You are. I am. And I give thanks for that. That is something that I'm grateful for. I am grateful for my beautiful pussycats that came to me in such a terrible state and are looking really, really good and give me so much love. You know, for my beautiful friends. You know, for my fellow soul travelers. And I'm, I'm just going to be spending my time now growing love and, and pouring love forth into this world which needs love. Love will heal it, transform it, reset it. That's it. So we focus on loving ourselves. We focus on, 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 on appreciation of ourselves. And from that spirals out the love into the world, you know. And that's it, people. That's, that's it. That is the fertile soil from which it will all grow, you see. It is. 
the ultimate medicine. And so I think that's that's it for today. Um, yeah. All my love to you.